Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I um, I wanted to throw a few pet peeves I have in here and make a quick little video and I want to hear what annoys you guys. So first of all, what annoys me is when I, people make jokes about my hair. And I know what you're thinking, like, no, not because it's colored, but like, they make jokes like, uh, because I've gotten jokes like, oh, you know, like, about my hair being like, I don't know, fake. But like, one thing I hate is when people see colored hair and they assume you must be wearing a wig. No, I'm not wearing a wig, chill out. Um, and this is the stuff I've gotten in general. I've had extensions in and I do not like when people make jokes about like, so how much hair is real? Because I'm like, you wouldn't make that to other people. Well, just cause I have colored hair on top of it, wearing extensions, you have to make jokes about mine. Another thing is when people make jokes about <laughs> wearing wigs, so, and I'm, this isn't just about me. I mean, I'm gonna share a couple experiences I had where people did single me out. So I had someone I would work with and he, someone said, oh my God, Kayla, I love your hair. And then he was like, you don't know that's fake. That's not her real hair. I bet she doesn't even have any hair. And I don't understand why that's such an aggressive thing to say when some people don't actually have hair. And I'm not talking about me, I'm saying in general, saying stuff like that is just ignorant and it's, it's rude because like, there's a lot of people I know who don't have a lot of hair or they can't grow their hair back fast and like what gives you the right to single them out? Not cool. Okay, and another thing is when people completely ignore me. So there's a stereotype that everybody who has colored hair is like cool and dope and nice and that's not true. I've met a lot of people who are pretty much assholes who had colored hair. And I'm like, oh my God, I love your hair. And they're like, thanks. I'm like, okay, fuck you. It's like, but I'm just saying, you know, not everyone's friendly. Like, just because I have piercings and colored hair doesn't make me, like, every single other person. Like, some people think, like, we're all freaks and we go to parties all the time. That's not true. I don't party. I don't like to party. I barely like people. Okay. And another thing is that people assume you write poetry or you write, like, stories and you're, like, emo as heck and you're, like, depressed and all this stuff. I don't think it's fair to judge someone based off a of hair color. Like, oh, so she must be like that. She, she must be, um, sorry, I keep hearing all these noises. It's making me nervous. Um, I just saw my brother-in-law and his brother and I was waving to him and I don't, I don't think they saw me, but I thought they did and I thought they ignored me and I was kind of mad and I was like, okay. But I think it was just me. I just, I don't know. I thought he looked at me and I was like, hey, and then he was like, and I was like, well, fuck you. I was like, I'm kidding. Um. But no, that just happened when I was making a different video uh, about people in high school and cliques. But I want to plan that video out more because I felt like on the spot it wasn't really the best. Like I kind of got nervous and then I was like thinking about stuff and then my creepy neighbor passed me one of the one of them and I was like, ugh. So <laughs> anyways, guys, I'm supposed to be getting my body candy package today. It gets me so annoyed because I've been waiting like a month for this package. And I understand because of you know what's going on in the world, why it would be slower, but I didn't even get an email saying that. Like, I had to email them first multiple times before I got a response. And like, they said that, you know, that it's gonna be a little slower, but I'm like, I know, but like on my shipping, it said just seven days and I've been waiting a month for it. So I'm like, not cool. I'm just saying, you just gotta let people know because I would wait if I knew. Like, for example, I'm throwing Amazon under the bus. So Amazon, <clears throat> I ordered hair developer. You know, look at my roots, guys. Look at them. I'm not, this was, I wasn't, I didn't even order it for me. It was for someone else. But I ordered hair developer twice. The first time I ordered it, I ordered it. I got very small developers and it wasn't the right size. And I was like, come on. So then I ordered it again, a different one. And it was like supposed to be a pack of two, 32 ounces. I was so excited and it got there and it never, it never came and I can't get a refund for it. So I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. It's just, it's very annoying. So, yeah, I'm not very happy with Body Candy or Amazon right now. On top of the fact that Amazon delivered a package to my neighbor that was mine, and it was in their mailbox, and I did not know because I don't go through people's mailboxes because that's illegal, but I saw my mom's last name in her name because it's her Amazon account, and so then I took it, and I was like, thank God, because how, you know, you never know. Someone might keep your stuff. That's all I'm saying. And sometimes they leave packages in other buildings. And it's like, I get, you know, right now. I'm not talking about right now. Some of this stuff happened before any of this even happened. So, like, they don't get an excuse for that. But, uh, sorry, my neck's itchy. Um, okay, so now we're talking about the wig thing. I got off track. Um, there's a lot of people I know who wear wigs. And they're all races and stuff. And I don't think it's cool to single anyone out or make jokes about people not having hair. And it wasn't just to me. I've seen people, 
of color get made fun of and stuff like that. And I just, I'm like, why? I think, like, I always thought when I was younger, like, wearing wigs is weird, right? And then it's like, wearing them now, like, cause when I was younger, like, when I'm song like, five. I'm like, why would someone wear a wig? That's weird. But, like, now that I'm like, you could just put on a wig and you have cool hair and it can go with the style you're doing. Why be a hater because you wouldn't do it? You know what I mean? The people that hate are the people that would never do it. Because they, they don't have the courage or they're just... But I'm just saying, guys, don't let someone sit there and make you feel bad about your hair. I know people who have shaved sides, and I, I think I talked about this. I don't know if it was in this video or my other video. Um, I had a huge shaved side, like this big. And a lot of people made me feel like I wasn't feminine anymore for having it. Like, I was a man. Like, all of a sudden, like, I shaved part of my head, and I'm a man. And I don't think that's okay. Like, I think that's kind of messed up. And I know a lot of guys who have long hair, and they're like... People make fun of them and call them like, you know, I'm not going to say the words, but like messed up names thinking that they must be a type of way because of it. And I think that's kind of messed up. Or guys who get dreads, they, they're labeled as having dirty hair. I think dreads are hot. So I don't know about you guys, but when I see a, see a guy with them, I'm like, whew. <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's just, um, yeah, now I'm looking at my, my brother-in-law and his brother again. But they're not looking at me. So maybe they really just didn't see me. I don't know. I'm literally sitting on the porch staring at them. And, uh, but yeah, no. So, and speaking of my creepy neighbor, the actual creepy guy just passed me and was staring at me as I was staring at them. And then I, I looked over to my phone and I looked over to him. And that was nice and awkward. Um, I just don't think it's okay to be hating on people for their hair. There's a lot of kids I see that get their hair cornrowed. And apparently, like, I'm not a huge, I'm, I, I didn't research this thoroughly, but there's certain braid styles that guys get and certain braiding styles that girls get. So certain, like there's like a type of cornrow that guys get. And I saw girls with their hair, their hair cornrowed and apparently someone's like, that's, that's, oh, what do you do? Cause like a, it's a certain braiding style for a guy. And I'm just talking about in general stuff about hair I've heard. It's just messed up for moms who dye their hair. They're like, oh, is your kid's hair blue? Is your kid's hair pink? Like, why? Why be like that? What's the point, you know? Why be a hater when you could just be a lover? Like, why hate on someone just because you're jealous? Because half the people that hate would never dye their hair. They would never braid their hair. Because they're they're just not, they're not cool. <laughs> um... I love when I see people express themselves and I'm saying is like some people don't feel comfortable dyeing their hair so they wear a wig that's like red or blue or something like that and they're still expressing themselves like so why hate on someone for being who they want to be you know what I mean or like uh now it's with the masks everyone's doing different designs on them and stuff and I'm like you know what cool as long as you're wearing one you know I saw a video on TikTok that broke my heart this lady said she was uh I don't know her username I forgot but I did a duet with her on, one of, on my art TikTok she was talking about how she, these people came into her establishment not wearing masks and so she paid for two masks for them which were a dollar each out of her own pocket and the guy said fuck off and tore it up and then left and she started crying and that's like, it's rude. I remember being nervous about the virus when I was working and people were thinking it was some joke and I got called paranoid and I got laughed at knowing that I have people in my home who could literally die from it. I'm like, that's not funny. Like, you just think it's a big joke. And, and then it's funny because these are the people that are ones all scared now. And I just think, you know, why hate on people? Or, you know, sit there and be hypocrites, you know? Um, I saw people who made fun of me for having my hair colored and now they dye their hair. I had someone who made fun of me for doing like half and half hair and now they have half and half hair. The gist of this video is stop hating on people's hair. You know, like, also something I don't like is people hating on people of color's hair. That really pisses me off. Because I know people who, who have, like, who, instead of growing their hair out, they just shave their head because they don't want to hear it. And I'm like, that's not cool. Or because their hair is too hard to manage. Like, that's not right. And I understand, like, not everyone's hair is easy to handle. It's a little more um, tender, loving care. And sometimes for people, it's easier to just shave it off. But do you really think it's cool to sit there and completely single someone out because of their hair texture? No, that's not okay. And we're not doing that. So um because my hair is naturally curly and wavy but since i dyed it it became more wavy and um my hair has always been very dry and like puffy regardless of me dyeing my hair or not so my hair became very like very hard to manage when i would have it down it would just be very like it would make me very hot so i had it um braided a lot um just so it was out of my face and i really liked it but it's like i don't want anyone to think 
you know, that it's okay to make fun of people's hair because, you know what I mean? Like, I have people who made fun of me. I got called a clown. Literally, I'll have an example. Um, I was in this meeting for work, right? And um, I did my makeup all cute. I had my eyebrows done because I freshly dyed them, which I need to touch up my hair and stuff. But I just, I'm just kind of just rolling with it right now. I like the orange and the blonde. I think it's actually really cute. And I've never kept blonde this long. Um, no, so listen to guys. Listen to what happened. So I walk in and I'm all cute. I'm wearing my uniform. I have like my makeup done and stuff because I really wanted to look professional for this. And I'm, you know, being myself though. Like I'm not going to dress, I'm not going to pretend to be someone else. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to have my dyed hair. I'm going to have my piercings. I'm going to be sit there and I'm going to be kind and people are going to see my heart versus how I look. So I was all ready, right? And then this lady comes in and says, oh, look, you're all dressed for Halloween. And I was like, And then my manager looked at her and said, oh, this is how this is how she normally looks. And I was like, yeah, this is just how I look. And then everyone laughed. And it was just really awkward for me. Because you know how, how awkward that is to get told? Like, oh, look, look, look who's ready to go scare some people just looking like that. And yeah, like, not, a, not everyone sees people that look like me every day. And like I said, I don't look that weird. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's some people I know, I'm like, it's a bit much, their looks. But I like it. I'm like, you know, if you're being yourself, why is someone going to hate on it? But what I'm saying though is just don't be that person that makes ruin someone's day because they're not going to change who they are. You'll just make them upset. That's all. That's all you're going to do is is ruin their day. And some people don't care. But I'm saying is like I wouldn't come up to you or if you had a sister or you had a brother or you had a nephew or you had like uh, an aunt or uncle or your mom and make fun of them. Like I knew people who had dreads and they like had colored hair and like people were like hating on them. All I'm saying, guys is you just gotta be a little more accepting of people and their choices. Like, I don't think people should be judged for dyeing their hair, I don't. And I think, you know, we all should just love each other just a little more. And do whatever the hell you want with your hair. And if you wanna dye it, just dye it. You don't have to use bleach. You know, there's semi, there's, ugh, ugh, can I talk? There's semi-permanent dyes. You put it on your hair without bleaching and you can get a tint or if you use, some people use the red Kool-Aid thing and then they get a little bit of a red tint, but don't use box dye because it's hard as hell to get out and then you're going to realize when you can't get the dye out of your hair that your hair is going to be, it's like permanently a color you don't want it to. So like never, just never put a black box dye on your head unless you're keeping the color black because it's really hard to get out of your hair. And um, as someone who accidentally did that and was trying to do one look and it completely backfired and I felt very angry from it like I've only done my hair black once and that wasn't supposed to be all black it was supposed to be purple and black and my hair the black box dye this is before I knew more about hair it took all over my hair and it absorbed everything and my hair was not what I wanted to be and I did not like it and then like a week or so I ended up putting bleach on my hair and then I burned my scalp because I was I was younger like I was in freshman year of high school and I was just starting to dye my hair and stuff but I've learned so much things so guys that's why I share those videos because I have learned so much and I love dyeing hair and if you guys would like to have a video on me talking about why I did not go to cosmetology school and what my future plans are because I'm not completely sure yet but I can have a video talking about all my plans for my future it all of my ideas sorry I'm like hiccuping let me know because I will share that. I'll share all of my plans for the future and all of my ideas in, in, a, in a video. And like I am selling my artwork and you know it's gonna, it's gonna hit off. I'm doing digital art, traditional art, anything and everything. Like I would even dye people's hair but like you need a license for that and I'm not trying to get in trouble so. Unless we're doing under the table but I'm not doing that. Um, I want to do it right so if you guys like this video please like comment and subscribe and stop hating on people's hair and, and love your hair because it took me a while to love my hair and also to shave it it took a lot of guts to do but I always wanted to do it and I already did a mohawk so I said that I don't have much to lose so thank you for watching this video like comment and subscribe click the bell icon because I know you forgot because now you have to do it separately um Things are going to get better for everybody. Express yourself. Right now is the perfect time to do it. You know, if quarantine taught me anything, it's you really just got to take care of yourself. I lacked doing that and I forgot to do that and it really, really messed me up. 
and it's to the point where like for years I wasn't doing that so now it comes to the time where it's like I should have been doing it and I didn't do it and I am guilty of not doing it and you just gotta love who you are and I'm trying to do that and you guys should too express what you want get, you can even get colored extensions if you don't want to dye your hair because some people have really long hair they're like I don't want to dye it and mess it up get very long extensions and dye them you know and have fun with those because why not you know that's all I'm saying um but anyways guys I'm gonna let you go thanks for watching this video I'm sorry I kind of go off topic sometimes but I want you guys to kind of like feel like you're having an actual conversation with me versus feeling like you're watching someone I want you guys to feel like you're actually here like you know you're sitting right next to me on the porch talking and I want everyone to feel accepted in the community that you you know are in there's so many birds where I live now, like some bird had babies or something because there's hella birds. Um, <laughs> anyways, have a great day guys, stay safe. I think it's about to start raining soon, so I'm gonna head up to enjoy my day before uh, everybody comes home because I need to wrap my nephew's birthday presents. My dog's like, yes you do, you have to wrap the presents. She's like, can we go upstairs? So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go and I hope you guys have a great day. Me and Nana say bye. Ooh.